going to sleep warm up different animals sleep in different ways for example horses sleep standing up fish sleep with their eyes open parrots and storks sleep while standing on one leg and lions lie down and sleep throughout the day all birds sleep as soon as evening falls however there is one bird that does not sleep at night do you know which bird it is going to sleep warm up different animals sleep in different ways for example horses sleep standing up fish sleep with their eyes open parrots and storks sleep while standing on one leg and lions lie down and sleep throughout the day all birds sleep as soon as evening falls however there is one bird that does not sleep at night do you know which bird it is mr wilbur force fog tries his best to fall asleep one night but he just cannot because of all the things that happen around him read on to find out if he is able to fall asleep in the end one night mr fog was not able to sleep he tried very hard to make himself sleepy but he just could not then he remembered something he had read in a book once it was about a man who could not sleep the man in the book had managed to fall asleep by imagining that he saw a lot of sheep jumping over a fence and by counting them as they jumped mr wilbur force fog tries his best to fall asleep one night but he just cannot because of all the things that happen around him read on to find out if he is able to fall asleep in the end one night mr fog was not able to sleep he tried very hard to make himself sleepy but he just could not then he remembered something he had read in a book once it was about a man who could not sleep the man in the book had managed to fall asleep by imagining that he saw a lot of sheep jumping over a fence and by counting them as they jumped i'll try that he said to himself so he closed his eyes and imagined sheep jumping over a high fence and began to count when he reached his 140th sheep he started to doze off suddenly mrs fox said wilbur force i think the yellow hen wants to lay eggs i'll try that he said to himself so he closed his eyes and imagined sheep jumping over a high fence and began to count when he reached his 140th sheep he started to doze off suddenly mrs fox said wilbur force I think the yellow hen wants to lay eggs. Meanings had managed to was able to imagining thinking of a picture in his mind doze off to go to sleep. Oh, don't trouble me with such things now. Do keep quiet and go to sleep, said Mr. Fog, quite irritated. He went back to his sheep again. He counted and counted and got up to 120 sheep. He was about to fall asleep when the baby began to cry. Oh, don't trouble me with such things now. Do keep quiet and go to sleep, said Mr. Fog, quite irritated. He went back to his sheep again. He counted and counted and got up to 120 sheep. He was about to fall asleep when the baby began to cry. Be quiet, Mr. Fox shouted. He asked Mrs. Fox to tend to the baby and to put her to sleep. When Mrs. Fox had finally put the baby to sleep, Mr. Fox decided to try 
counting his imaginary sheep again. Be quiet, Mr. Fox shouted. He asked Mrs. Fox to tend to the baby and to put her to sleep. When Mrs. Fox had finally put the baby to sleep, Mr. Fox decided to try counting his imaginary sheep again. He had just finished counting the 64 sheep when his aunt knocked on the door and asked if he was awake. She said that he had forgotten to close the back door. She thought she had heard thieves in the backyard. Mr. Fogg got up from the bed in anger and went down to check. He found the door firmly closed. He had just finished counting the 64 sheep when his aunt knocked on the door and asked if he was awake. She said that he had forgotten to close the back door. She thought she had heard thieves in the backyard. Mr. Fogg got up from the bed in anger and went down to check. He found the door firmly closed. On returning to his room, he decided to count sheep one more time. This time, he reached 240 sheep. He was nearly asleep when the neighbor's cats started fighting loudly. On returning to his room, he decided to count sheep one more time. This time, he reached 240 sheep. He was nearly asleep when the neighbor's cats started fighting loudly. Meanings Irritated, annoyed or angry. Tend to take care of. Backyard A large open space at the back of a house. Firmly, tightly. Mr. Fogg was very upset. He leaped out of bed and went to the window. He began to throw anything he could find at the cats. His boots, a soap dish, a comb, a plate, a brush and so on. Mr. Fogg was very upset. He leaped out of bed and went to the window. He began to throw anything he could find at the cats. His boots, a soap dish, a comb, a plate, a brush and so on. Finally, he managed to get the cats to go back inside and remain silent. It seemed silly to continue counting sheep again, but Mr. Fogg wanted to try it one last time. Finally, he managed to get the cats to go back inside and remain silent. It seemed silly to continue counting sheep again, but Mr. Fogg wanted to try it one last time. This time, the trick nearly worked. After imagining the 82nd sheep jump over the fence, he was floating gently into the land of dreams. That was when his wife rolled out of bed and fell on the floor with a loud thud. The baby woke up and started crying again. Soon, Mr. Fogg's aunt too came in and asked, Did you feel the earthquake? This time, the trick nearly worked. After imagining the 82nd sheep jump over the fence, he was floating gently into the land of dreams. That was when his wife rolled out of bed and fell on the floor with a loud thud. The baby woke up and started crying again. Soon, Mr. Fogg's aunt too came in and asked, Did you feel the earthquake? Mr. Fogg did not know what to do. He grabbed a pillow and went to the sofa in the sitting room and lay down there. Soon, he fell asleep. When he woke up in the morning, he was quite sure that counting sheep could not help anyone sleep. 
an extract from elbow room by charles heber clark mr fogg did not know what to do he grabbed a pillow and went to the sofa in the sitting room and lay down there soon he fell asleep when he woke up in the morning he was quite sure that counting sheep could not help anyone sleep an extract from elbow room by charles heber clark meaning earthquake a sudden violent shaking of the earth's surface about the author charles heber clark 1841 to 1915 was an american author his best known work was out of the hurly burly which was very successful during his time